what is good everyone so today i'm back with another video this is i haven't been posting anything for a long time i'm here to give you guys an update on the StockX video that i did make a while back five six months ago um i've been having a lot of questions in the comments and i'll just go ahead and want to make a video answering all those questions because maybe those questions is something you might be wanting to ask so i'm just decided to go ahead and make it in one video go through the comments and see what people said and i'm just going to answer them um, one person asked if they, they sold a Supreme tea, do they have to ship it in the original Supreme bag and with the Supreme sticker? No. At my experience, I never ship the Supreme bag. Well, I do sometimes because I don't need it. But I always keep the stickers. So, no. You don't. You can keep the stickers and the Supreme bag. Just be sure to ship the actual item. Alright, next question is... Can you sell from the UK? on StockX and I did I read I looked it up um, I never done it I'm not from the UK I'm from the United States Tampa Florida um, but um, it says you can but the shipping fees is 45 bucks um, you can correct me if I'm wrong but that's just from what I looked up from StockX site also someone says I'm a bit confused don't you have to ship it from StockX for the verify it? and the shipping label I got does not go to Detroit also looked into that. I think they have more than one facility now, you know, probably to um, better fulfill or f fulfill or verify whatever you're selling faster. So they probably have more than one fulfillment center now where that verifies your kicks. And then somebody had a question about the payout. All right, so usually whenever you ship your item, I, for me, it takes them anywhere from three to five business days to arrive whenever I ship my item out. So usually once I ship it out and they receive it, I usually get payment that same day or the, the next day. So usually you get your payment within one or two days after they verify your shoe or they receive your shoe. StockX, pretty much everything on StockX, besides like leather goods, like when like wallets and purses and stuff, everything else from clothing to shoes, as far as I know right now, everything has to be dead stock. Yeah, I had a couple questions of people asking me about they have a couple used items that they wanted to sell and then had a stain on it and stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't do that because you send it, they're just going to ship it back if it doesn't pass inspections and they're going to charge you for the shipping. So you're going to lose money on something you know you shouldn't be doing in the first place. So, yeah. So someone I was trying to ask is the shipping on StockX basically free. No, it's not basically free. You're technically paying for it with the fees they are taking from whatever the amount is sold. So depending on your ranking, whatever the percentage is, um, is what they take. Usually it's about 12 to 13 percent. It varies for your account. Someone asks, can I use free boxes on UPS website? I mean, if the boxes are free and then it's for UPS ground, yes, you can. As long as you use it for UPS. Okay, the most recent question I have is uh, for the labels, does it have to be in color? No, you don't have to print it in color. It can be in black and white. And someone asks, can I ship it from a local post office? I don't believe so. Usually, I just drop a UPS office. I, I don't know if your post office takes UPS or not. Mine, they don't. So I always just, if I have UPS, I go to UPS. If I have stuff for post office I go to the post office but luckily I have both nearby me so I don't have an issue with that they're like couple they're like down the street from each other so somebody asked what if you tore the plastic on the supreme I'm guessing the supreme bag that came in that's what they asked um I think it might be okay as long as the item is new and everything so that's the main thing they want your item to be new and authentic so once you sell your item, you print out your label, you package it, all you do is have to go to the UPS store, drop off the package, like go to the, the, the cash register and be like, hey, I already have a label, I just want to drop it off, let them scan it, and then sometimes they'll ask if you want a receipt. I always say yes, I grab the receipt just so I can have the tracking number on hand as a reference too, and then once I get paid for it, I usually just toss it out as soon as like all that's good. Okay, somebody says, hey, what do you do when you sold an item but you don't have it in hand yet? That's that's the tricky part of selling stuff on StockX, trying to sell stuff. Because usually, 
you um, when you don't have a hand yet a lot of people don't the prices is usually higher so that's what some people do but this person asked you know what happened what do they do well what they do you should email StockX if you ain't getting in time because if you don't make it in a certain time frame they're gonna charge you a percentage of the sale if you uh, you know complete it if you can't complete it they'll charge you some kind of fee so I would definitely try to have the item in hand before you try to sell it because you never know it can get lost in the mail you know none of that's guaranteed so okay someone asked can you ship a tea with the bag that Supreme sends you or does it have to be in a cardboard box and to answer that you can ship it in the same exact bag just make sure you tape it up really good because usually the poly bags you end up ripping or you just cut it with scissors so yeah you can ship it in the same bag just make sure you peel the label that's already on there or you just cover that label with your other new label someone says I put two different shirts in the same bag because they're sold the same day is that okay I print out both the papers and put them in both the same packages as well I honestly never did that I usually just ship them out separately but it makes sense you can I definitely would say you can as long as you provide both the packaging slip because with StockX you get two sheets one for your label and one for the packaging slip that you supposed to you should be okay if you're shipping it all in one box or one label because that's how they realize what item you have is just by your packaging slip someone asked when shipping to StockX do you have to include the receipt of the item no you don't have to include the receipt of the item just as long as it's new and dead stock you should be good because it's their job to verify it. that's why they're taking this percentage of your sale so all right so that's pretty much all the questions i answered all the questions that i saw that needed to be answered and the ones that i did reply to so if you got any other questions just comment down below and i'll do my best to reply and i appreciate you guys for watching and subscribe to the channel like thumbs up the video appreciate y'all and peace